Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video we are going to see class 11 exercise 7.1 chapter number 7. So first question we are going to solve. So last video I have uploaded uh, the introduction part. Just go through it and then solve the exercise problems. So let's we start the first problem. The question is how many three digit numbers can be formed from, formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We need to find three digit numbers with this numbers. Understood? Next, repetition of the, they have given two conditions. Repetition of the digits are allowed. Uh, repetition of the digits are not allowed. So we have two conditions. So first we will see repetition of the digits are allowed. See here. We are ha uh, they said to find the three digit numbers. 1, 2, 3. Three digit numbers. Right. And uh, the repetition is allowed. So by multiplication principle. By multiplication principle. We solve this uh, sum by multiplication principle. Okay. So by multiplication principle we are going to solve. Repetition is allowed. How many digits we are having? 5. Right. First uh, write here 5. Then what's the last digit? 5. We are having 5 right. So write that 5 here. Then repetition is allowed. So we can put again one 5. Understood. So next multiply this 5 into 5 into 5. We will get 125. So this is the answer for first one and second one. Repetition is not allowed. Three digit numbers right. One, two, three. Three digit numbers. So how many numbers we are having? One, two, three, four, five. Five right. Okay. So five right here. Then if I remove one from the uh, five digits, how many numbers we are having? One, two, three, four. Four right. So right is four here. Then again I have taken two uh, numbers from these five numbers. How many we are having? Three. Three right. So right here three. And uh, we have filled the three digit uh, free vacant places. So um, here then multiply this every uh, everything. Five into four into three. Five fours are twenty. Twenty threes are sixty. So sixty. There are there are 60 ways 60 ways can be formed can be formed okay instead of writing 60 we can write it as 60 ways okay they have uh, in question they have asked how many ways can be formed okay so first sum is completed next so the second question is how many three digit even numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, digits can be and if the digits can be repeated. So repetition of the digits is allowed and we need to find three digit even numbers from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 5, 6. So we will solve the answer with multi by multiplication principle. By multiplication principle. Okay, so uh, three digit even numbers. How many even numbers we are having? One, two, three. That is two, four, six. Two, four, six. These are the even numbers. Okay, next. See how many numbers we are having totally? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six we are having. Then, uh, then uh, what's the last digit? Six, right here. Then how many even numbers we are having? 1, 2, 3, right? So write 3 here. Then multiply them 6 uh, into 6 into 3. We will get 108. 6, 6 are 36. 36, 3 is 108. So 108 ways. So this is the answer. So third question. How many four letters code can be formed using the letters? Using the first 10 letters of the 
alphabet if no letter can be repeated so we need to find four letter code from 10 letters of the alphabets english alphabets and the letters cannot be repeated understood so these are the 10 alphabets okay so a b c d e f g h i j so up to j okay 10 alphabets next uh, four letter uh, code four letter code so one two three four four letter codes right now how many we are having ten if i uh, take one letter from this ten uh, number letters we will get nine so nine here then i have taken two i will get eight i will take in uh, three numbers from this ten so i will get seven understood so multiply them 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 if we multiply everything we will get 5040 ways see don't uh, just don't copy everything what i am writing understand understand the equation then you can solve by your own self multiply this by your own then write the answers see i can make mistakes i am not god so you also please try the uh, problems which I am doing in the uh, class. So you just note it down. Then you solve by yourself. So next fourth question. How many five digit telephone numbers can be constructed using the digits 0 to 9 if each number starts with 6, 7 and no digit appears more than once. So they have given five digit numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in the question, they have given 6 and 7. Okay. Uh, repetition is not allowed in this. So, uh, uh, see. Uh, in the question, they have given no digit appears more than once. More than once. So, we should not include this. Which we are writing here. It should be like it should not appears more than once. Understood. The number which we are uh, writing, it, may, it can be same. But it should not appear more than once. So, um, so the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Up to 9. So, totally we are having 10 letters. 10 letters. Understood? So, uh, anything tends to 0 is 0. Okay. So, just leave that number. So consider this 0 as 6 and this one as 7. 6 and 7. Now uh, leave this both. So how many balance number we are having? 8 right? So write here 8. Then 8. Place 8 upside. So for, for your understanding you just place the number upside. So 3 have I have removed. How many we are having? 7 right here. Again writing 7 here. Taking 4. Okay, closing 4 digits. Uh, now, how many we are having? 6, right? So, right here, 6. We got it, right? And see here, 6 and 7. 6 and 7. They both are same, right? Common. So, we can take only 1 digit. Seven, uh, 8 into 7 into 6. Okay, we are having 2 same pair. So, we can take 1 pair. So if we multiply this, uh, we will get we will get three thirty six ways. Understood? So this question is completed. Next, we will move on to fifth sum. A coin is tossed three times and the outcomes are recorded. How many possible outcomes are there? So they have given that a coin is tossed three times. One, two, three, three times. See a coin, one coin equals to it has head and tail right a coin has head and tail if we toss this coin we will get two values we okay the coin has two sides we will get two right for second coin also if we do same value we will get for third uh, which we do means we will get the same value that is two understood so first this is first time second and third time 
first time if we toast a coin we will get head and tail two times two and for second also two and for third also two understood if we uh, multiply this uh, all two into two into two two to the four four to the eight so eight ways we can toast the coin understood next we'll move to the sixth sum sixth one given five flags of different colors how many different signals can be generated if each signal requires the use of two flags one below the other see here they, uh, they have given five flags five flags of different colors we need to find how many different signals can be generated if each signal requires the use of two flags one below the other so they have given five flags one two three four five five flags of different colors assume that this is red and this is blue and this is green and this is yellow and this is orange so we are having five different flags of different colors now uh, they have uh, said that one uh, like if each signal requires the use of two flags one below the other one below the other means we will take these flags okay first flag and second flag one below the other totally how many flags we are having one two three four five five right so five here fifth flag like uh just right five why because we are having five flags next if i take one from this five we will get how much like how many num uh, number of flags we will have four right four so five into four will show 20 ways we can arrange the flags one below the other so uh, we have completed uh, exercise 7.1 so in next video we will see exercise 7.2 uh, it is also very easy in that we are uh, we are going to use factorial symbol okay so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon and uh, like this video and chat to your friends uh, they will be knowing how we are solving the sum okay friends thank you bye bye